Hello and welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, the former two-time world heavyweight wrestling champion, your role model Rick Lieb, soon to be wearing that belt once again, so you will say the three-time world champion. You might as well just call it to me now. Remember we got that hundred uh, we got that uh bet on there, right? Oh well, yeah, but why not gloat right away? That's right. And with me, Ricky Williams. Ricky, last time to shake my hand is a non- World Heavyweight Champion. How you doing? Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I will be uh, shaking your hand again the next following show when we, uh, after you lose. You think I'm going to lose for real? Oh, yeah. You think Marcus Knight has a chance against these arms? I mean, he's younger than you. Yeah, but he wrestles older than me. No, he doesn't. Whatever. Anyway, are you going to try this stuff that I got? Oh, yeah. All right, so, uh. Got these now. These are gonna have me all messed up by tonight. And then yeah. if I lose, I'm blaming them on you. Okay, deal. But you still gotta drink that if you lose, though. Now we got plenty of hours until then. So what we're drinking is some beasts. It's called the beast. So this is actually I'll explain it. This okay. is the beast. Um, it is called. It is actually monster alcohol. It's actually really good. I promise. Is it monster um, or is it beast? It's it's monster, but they call it the beast. Monster is in like monster drinks? Yeah, monster drinks. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what do I got here? I got peach perfect. What do you have? I just have the regular, the original. Pour a little bit of that in here. Let me try it. You want to try it too? Yeah, I want to try both. So the original. All right. Yeah. Before we get going. Salute. Salute. Oh, right behind. Hey, that's pretty good. Do you want to try this? I already had it before. I okay. like that one. You don't like it? No, I never had the original one, so yeah. Hey, that's much better. That's good. I think I tried this last year. I think you got me this last year, but I didn't try that kind. Yeah. No, so, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good. And I you know what? No, nice. Really good. Nothing beats a celebratory drink when I'm talking about tonight. That's right, today's Saturday, so uh, tonight, RCW presents A Grave Affair 5. On that card, there will be a bunch of great matches, which we will be doing the predictions on today. One of those matches will be, of course, myself versus Lord Marcus Knight, the spotlight Marcus Knight. I still call him Lord Marcus Knight from when he won Lord of the Rings, which I'm hoping we bring back that tournament again, because I think I could beat him in that, too. Oh, whatever. You, you brag as much. By the way... I would actually call this the Team Beast, you know, liquor. Don't make it taste bad. <laughs> don't don't make don't make it taste bad. All right. Oh Because right now I'm liking it. So okay, we got a great show lined up for you tonight. Is a grave affair. We will be talking about that entire event. We're gonna do our predictions on that event. But before we go to commercial break, apparently John Potok has accepted my bet. $10,000 versus anybody that he can give me as an opponent. And whoever it is, I'll take him on on December 14th at Twas the Fight Before Christmas. And when I beat that person, then I get to wrestle John Potok in January for Re New Year's Resolution. So the person he picked is the Purple Hooter, who Man. I didn't even know the guy still was... I, I didn't even know he was still alive. He was still around. It, it's it's crazy that it's Purple Hooter. That's wild. I have not. I get it. You're, it's a nostalgic match. It is. I mean, it's going to be. It, it, it's a great. I mean, who knows how he looks now? Because back then he used to be well, super Well, that picture that, that, that they have online of me and him and that they're going to be handing out. I think they're supposed to be handing it out on the flyers uh, of me and him. Uh for our match looks like he's uh old and beat up and i don't know now it's actually him in a suit pulling it open but it's like he looks i think he looks old mm -hmm. i never aged everybody else did isn't that crazy why do you say he never aged you i think age. you're older than me now you're funny might be the same age anyway uh, we're gonna go uh, ahead and take a commercial break but when we come back, we're going to go ahead and do the prediction show. So I'll see you in two minutes and two seconds. Rubber City Wrestling presents A Grave Affair 5. 
Saturday, October 26th at 6 p.m. at the home of RCW Wrestling, the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. This card will feature matches from your favorite RCW professional wrestlers. Matches like Alexander Crowley and James Lethal from Team Beast in tag team action against John Rossiter and Scotty Stevens of The Way. The Hawaiian Lions defend their tag team belts against the heavy metal heartthrobs. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the spotlight Marcus Knight defends his belt against your role model Rick Lieb and many more matches. Let's not forget the third annual Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede Battle Royal. Tickets are on sale now. $20 general admission and $25 front row. For more information, visit us online on X, Facebook, and Instagram. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. The Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global. Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Well, fans, tonight's the night. And we have a great card lined up for you. I don't know the order of the matches, unfortunately. The only thing I know is that the uh, the um, Bunkhouse Stampede in the a memorand, a memorial for Yeti. Gosh. The Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede. <laughs> what you you didn't even drink much of that. And you're I'm not drunk. I'm just fumbling my words. Sir. <laughs> There's a difference. Slurring anyway, already. I'm not slurring. I fumbled my words. It's a huge difference. I'm just teasing you a while. Goodness. No, I don't get teased. Yes, you do. I'm the goat. Okay. Anyway, when I'm holding that belt over my shoulder. Yeah, then week, you then you can say you're the goat. Oh, my gosh. And then you can throw that stupid twist. I away. will throw it away. If you lose, I'll throw it away. Legit. But go. for now, I'm just saying, Get that this is staring you down right now. I'm Get excited. that away from that beautiful trophy that's on. Yes, beautiful trophy. Okay, anyway, <sighs> so we have tag team action, Scotty Stevens and John Rossiter of The Way. A couple yard tar crashers themselves. Okay. We'll be taking on Alejandro Crowley. And James Lethal of Team Least. Team Least role model. That's that's wild. Um, so uh, I'll let you pick first. <laughs> okay. I already know you're uh, gonna pick. But the uh, way is gonna win this. Oh, wow. Scotty Stevens, Shocking. John Rossiter, they come out victorious. Uh, no. I say, um, I say the way is gonna lose. I'm sorry. Um, I do, well, actually, you know what? I you don't think know. Team Beast can beat him? You got two former tag team champions. I get that. But John Rossiter and Scotty Stevens are two different names. Oh, it's, it's, it's not Scotty Stevens. Let's be real. But wait Rossiter, a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be real. He wouldn't be in the way if he wasn't real. Uh, he, you don't like Scotty Stevens. He's just a... Let's we'll just say he's a butt kisser now. But uh, anyway... Um, Rossiter though, that's he's different. That dude is like your next animal. Yeah, I mean that's why and he's there. Animal why, and victim is his replacement. That's what terrifies me a bit because I feel like he can carry that whole team. And I feel like Scott E. Stevens, who is freaking six foot four and weighs about two hundred and sixty pounds, could carry that team too. You keep forgetting how big that man is. Oh, he. He's Dude, technically I, in the Super I, I ain't shown no respect to him after he, he disrespected Team Beast. I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, <laughs> he disrespected Team Beast? 
Our disrespect to Murray yeah. Angel, the Misfits. Yeah, let's say Misfits. You know what I mean. Whatever. But uh, anyway, I mean... All right, we'll just disagree on that one. It's fine. Let's move on. I want to be right, though. So I'm going to have to pick the way. I want to be right also. That's why I picked the way. Yeah, but I think it's going to be right. Because I think you're going to do something to make them lose. I guarantee. You know, Us? Yeah. Cheat? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. You know what we're going to do to make them lose? What? Have two superior athletes in the ring against them. Sure. Next match on the list, the Hawaiian Lions will defend their world tag. Oh, it's not the next match on the list, but it's the next match on the list. That makes. I don't know what the order of the matches are, just in case people are wondering that. No, you're good. The you're Hawaiian good. Lions will defend their world tag team championships against the heavy metal heartthrobs. What do you think about that? It's your turn to go first. Mm. Uh, you're not letting me sway your answers. I'll say... I'm not going to lie. This stuff t smells like cat piss. Yep. Smell it. Yeah, it is not the best smell, but it does taste good, though. It tastes amazing. I think it's because it's concentrated with Monster. Monster didn't want to have the best smell. No, it just smells like cat piss. Yes. Let's go. Hawaiian Lions versus Heavy Metal Heartthrobs. Well, we have new tag team champions. This is tough. Gosh, I mean, Heavy Metal Heartthrobs are on fire right now. They're on a roll. And that's why I am worried about them, too. Um, Fan favorites versus fan favorites. I'm sorry, Hawaiian Lions. I hate doing this to you guys. You guys are awesome. Sorry, Rory Angel. I, I don't mean to do this to you, but I think the Heavy Metal Heartthrobs are actually going to win this and pull the upset. Really? Yeah. New tag team champions. You think DJ Squarepants, a.k.a. D-A-K, a.k.a. Donovan Kozar, and uh, freaking Brennan Martell are going to be able to win this match? I mean, you saw how they were when they were together. I mean, if they double team Draven, yes, I agree. Because Draven's a weak link. Everybody knows he's a weak link. Wait, how's, but the how's thing that is, make sense? no, that didn't make any sense, Romano. Why would they have to double team? I look. Uh, here's the thing. Here's weekend. how I look at it. You got as a double team. You got the DJ or, or Donovan, whatever. Dak. Yeah, Dak. Dick, whatever. Oh uh, wow. D I K. I mean, or is it D I K or D A K? It's D A K. Oh yeah, the alcohol and everything. Um, yeah, really, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> anyway, you got him. And then you got Draven. Those are the two weak links of the tag team, in my opinion. Oh, no. But okay. And so those two guys, let's see. I think Draven beats them. Believe it or not. Really? Then you got... Yeah, you're right. I'm just joking. That's a, that's a stalemate. Then you got... It's not that he Then you've got... No, listen. You've got Lionheart, and then you've got Brendan Martell. Lionheart is a superior athlete in that match. And whether he admits it or not, he's also a friend of mine. And so I believe, even though they've got McGilly Gorilla in their corner, and she's known for screwing things up, I believe that those two are going to end up winning anyway. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the champions retain. Okay. Good call. Are you shocked? Yeah, a little bit, actually. I thought you were going to grip me, but... Yeah. No, I'm trying to get this right also. Yeah. This is a competition here. Yeah. I, I, I'm actually going to get you for a first time when it comes to the Hawaiian Lions. I usually never pick against them, so... All right, here's one that we're going to definitely disagree with. World Television Championship. Oh, GDT man. taking on Aaron Black for Aaron Black's belt. It'll be another short-lived champion. I'm going to go ahead and say GDT gets the victory. Another superior athlete. This can be a coin flip match right here. I think. Um, GDT has improved a lot. and he, He's doing a lot better as much as I hate to say Improved? It. He's always been good. He had one setback and he corrected that. Mm -hmm. Ironically, it was against Scott E. Stevens. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to mess on myself. But anyway... Yeah. Um, you use your rag. No, for my face, but anyway. Um, now, it's really tough, though, because, like, I want to say Aaron Black, but GT has all that weight, man. I could just, you know, 
What are you talking about? That man's physically fit. Are you serious right now? Of course I'm serious. That's all muscle, dude. Stop staring at me. I really wish Animal was here right now for that. If you, if you heard that, oh man, you'll probably be... Uh, I know a lot of. I didn't say Mike Smiley. I said GDT. No, he's not fit. Anyway, um, I'll say GDT wins as well. I just think GDT is just. This is why I don't like picking first because you keep on piggybacking off my picks. I'll pick first then every time. How about okay, that? good. Are you happy with that? Okay. Yeah, I think GDT is going to win though. Go ahead. All right, Brandon Miller defends his All American City Championship against Kenny Collin. The Prince of Pater. So Kenny Collins um, has definitely looked good. Or yeah. Very good. Uh, definitely deserves a shot. Um, but again, we said in the past, Brennan Miller does not give up and always has a will to win. It's crazy. And I'm sorry, Kenny, as much as I want to say you, I'm going to go with Brennan Miller. You want to say Kenny Collins? I don't you want to say, say a Terrence Kenny Knight guy? You've already picked one of Terrence Knight's guys. You wanted to pick another one? I love this new you. No, it's not that I like him or anything. I just know that Terrence Knight's going to interfere in the match and make them win. But since I know it's Brandon Miller, that's why I said I kind of want to pick Kenny because I know it's probably going to happen. But I kind of know Brandon Miller. He, he's like, he's no joke. No one can really beat him unless, like, you know, you're amazing. I know I can beat him. I shut up. Anyway, um, so what I'm saying is, though, I just feel like Kenny Collins still needs a lot more to, you know, a lot more to, you know, okay. figure so out. Okay, so you're definitely saying... Brandon Miller, yes. I'm taking Kenny Collins. Okay. I'm taking Kenny Collins because I believe he's a superior athlete. I'm sorry, but Brandon Miller, you know, or Brandon Miller, he's a... Uh, Makes one heck of a roadkill, but he's not, he's just not Kenny Collins. You know? Okay. I want to go that maybe he be Maybe after he gets beat, he can retire and become a chef. What you think? Why would you tell him, what? No. I mean, he can cook, but no. Yeah, I'll tell you he can cook. You're annoying. Anyway. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and pay some bills. We're going to take another commercial break. But when we come back, we'll do the last two matches. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. See you in just a Rubber City Wrestling presents A Grave Affair 5, Saturday, October 26th at 6 p.m. at the home of RCW Wrestling, the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. This card will feature matches from your favorite RCW professional wrestlers. Matches like Alexander Crowley and James Lethal from Team Beast in tag team action against John Rossiter and Scotty Stevens of The Way. The Hawaiian Lions defend their tag team belts against the heavy metal heartthrobs. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the spotlight Marcus Knight defends his belt against your role model Rick Lieb and many more matches. Let's not forget the third annual Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede Battle Royal. Tickets are on sale now. $20 general admission and $25 front row. For more information, visit us online on X, Facebook, and Instagram. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Wake up out there! This is the outcast Shannon Moore. Mr. Technical Barry Horowitz. Typhoon the Shockmaster and the B-A-Double-D. This is Chad Saylor and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. If you don't believe me, ask me. I'm Magnum TA and that's some straight talk with the boss. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global. Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube.
Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. All right, well, lucky for us, we don't have to take anybody's calls because we're doing the prediction show. And it should be a quicker show today because oh, yeah. there's less matches. So hopefully we can get this thing done. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's two more matches left. Yep. And you know the Yeti Memorial is the last match. It's the main event. So we can't go to it right now. Yes, go ahead, Role Model. I know you want to say it, and I know who you're going to pick. World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship is on the line. Your Role Model, Rick Lee. Mm -hmm. The GOAT. Hold on. Boom, your Role Model, Rick Lee. The real good-looking guy on here. Versus the Spotlight, Marcus Knight. Now, the Spotlight might be world champion now, but it's just for two months. Hey, why not? Give the kid a break. And uh, it's about to happen. Uh, it's about to happen. Damn. Going down tonight. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if you know anything about that Selly Cell, but yes, that was one of my hits back in the day. So what's up? I'm like well, you pick first. We already know who you're picking because we have a bet, but it's still worth it. Imagine I said your woman already leave his order. It'd be a smart pick. But it actually wouldn't be because uh, I know Marcus Knight is going to destroy you. And destroy I, me? Yes. I say destroy you. Destroy because me. Because all the trash you're talking towards him, saying you're going to be champion, is super disrespectful to Marcus Knight. Not just saying I'm going to be champion. I'm, I'm ready to... Because I'm already because looking for people to defend my belt against. Purple Hooter, if you Knight, want, I'll put the belt on the line. I know you're going to destroy him. I know you're going to defeat him. Who you talking? So, you, you said that to Marcus Knight. I'm just saying the camera. You're saying the camera that you know I'm going to destroy Marcus Knight. No, I said I know. Oh well, screwed up. I meant to say I know. Uh, I know you're going to destroy role model. So yeah, my fault. He, he knows. He knows what I mean. I just you know. It is what you said. Mm -mm. I switched it around on mm -mm. you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Don't, don't, don't start. <laughs> anyway, you know my so, mess ups. Why do, do you think his, why, why do you think Marcus Knight's going to be able to beat me? Um, younger, faster. It's already beaten me in the past. Um, and did you just say he was faster? Yeah. And beat me in the past. He beat me after, directly after I had a match. Okay. Still I don't lost. even count that match. Still a loss. No, it's not a loss. It's a stolen valor. Stolen valor. Yes. Oh, fake. That's, that's what you're going to call it's it. It's a Fugazi match. All right. Well, go ahead with your pick, Romano, before I start screwing up my words. Well, again. my pick is none other than your role model, Rick Lieb. I'm going to walk in a challenger, which is not something I do often, kids. And then I'm going to walk out the RCW World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. And when I do, I'm going to gloat to you. Okay. I'm going to gloat to the cameraman. Okay. And I'm going to gloat to you people at home that didn't believe in me. Okay. Any of you that didn't believe in me. The only ones I'm going to party with, Richard Wise in the way. Richard Wise, believe oh, Kathy. She believes in me also. And if you do lose, just saying. I get a destroyer? No, you get a delicious twisted tea shot. Oh, man. You know, you should do double or nothing. You're making me nah. two. Oh, okay. Nah. You sure? Double or nothing? Yeah. What was I supposed to get? So, if, um, if I lose, I was supposed to say you're the goat for the whole week. Okay. I was supposed to like say you're the goat. Every All right, time so double or nothing. What would that be? You say I'm the goat for two weeks. I don't want. Now nah, we're not double for nothing. Not unless you're putting a hundred bucks on the line. No, not Ken's tip money. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, who, who, who threw the one in here? You know that is kind of wild. Why? Who? Whoever threw it. They got a bunch of fifties. I I even see a hundred in there, and then there's this one dollar bill. Like what cheap bastard? Throw a one in there. Some people people don't have fifty bucks sometimes. You know what? Is, what do you, you mean? Know, inflation have 50 inflation bucks. is rough, man. I got fifty bucks. I got more than fifty bucks in my couch cushions. <laughs> I'm sure you can find more than that if you're like digging through the seats of my car. <laughs> Good lord! 
It's only $50, man. Whatever, old mo. Anyway. All right, so, yeah, I'm taking myself to win that belt. Okay. That's a good pick, I guess. Go All right, and then finally, we got the Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede Battle Royal. They nice. took away the cages so that people could throw people over the top ropes. Now they can stop whining. Who are you taking to win that? Wait, but first of all, let's let's do our guesses. Who are who do you think's gonna be on there? And uh don't read like the names of the people that you got there. Obviously, these are just people whose names were come up. So I actually see a couple names on here that are not on the RCW roster though that have contacted us about being in here. Remember, it's all a draw of the hat. I think, unless they just all get to be in here. I mean, is it is it like invitational, like invitational? I or? don't know. Um, I would. I, I don't think it would happen. But who do you want to see show up? Could you imagine Purple Hooters just showing up? Oh my gosh! Oh, that would be so cool. I don't care. I mean, now that the the cat's out of the bag, that I'm wrestling him on the the 14th, he might as well. So we can attack him. Why would you attack him during a battle royal? Come on now. Why wouldn't I? He That's break great. his leg. He can't wrestle on the 14th. I automatically win. Mm, whatever. Um. Well. Not that I'm not going to win already. But I'm just not happy with this match. I mean, I just don't like the dude. There I've is one person I do him. miss a lot, though. I really hope like he does show up there. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. Um, Ray Stewart. Ray Stewart. Yeah, he's not a uh, roster. I haven't I don't seen know. him in so long. Um, I, I would, I'd be pretty shocked if he showed up there, too. So it was Trevor Amir, too. This bad boy's got... Well, Trevor Amir's on the roster. He's just young. So we know Spike's in it. Or not Trevor Amir. I'm sorry. It's got... Uh, let's see. People we know for a fact. Spike's in it. Uh, we got a bunch of rookies in it. Uh, Backwoods Zook is in it. Oh, goodness. J.L. Watson. Oh, goodness. Colt Frost. Butcher. Uh, Blackhawk, Schizo, yeah, so we got a lot of, uh, uh, some good ones. Um, should we pick one who's going to get eliminated first, and then... Two no, not one ones? who's getting eliminated first. We're going to pick who we think, or who we want to show up, like, if it's somebody that's like a surprise, then we're going to pick who we think is a surprise... Which okay. can be different than who you want. And then we're going to pick who we think's going to win. And I'm basically going to go off of who I think's going to win off the people that are on there. All right. Well, who I want to show up. All right. If it's possible, Ray Stewart. That'd be really cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, I doubt it. But yeah, that'd be cool. Who I want to win? I mean, you already know I'm going to say Blackhawk. Okay. Blackhawk, Blackhawks. I thought you'd say J.L. Watson, to be honest. Well, J.L. Watson, I do too. But he has already won it before. He's already so. won the four, so I mean, why not? But that gives him a good, gives him a good odds of winning again, because that means he obviously knows how to win it. Now, can I do a sleeper pick? That's okay. Um, no, your sleeper pick is who you think's going to be the one that comes in, shows up. Oh well. I was saying who's who I thought was going to also win, too. But. Only one person can win. I know. All right, go ahead. If Blackhawk didn't win, who do you think is going to win? Spike. Spike? Oh! Oh, still in mine. That's right, piggyback rider. Okay. No, I'm not kidding. You didn't pick who you think is going to show up. It said there's going to be people that haven't been on the roster, or haven't been there in a while, well, or that's a, a uh, well, on the roster. Well, if Ray Stewart does come in, then yeah, I'll pick him as well. But I don't think he's coming in. So that's why I'm saying Spike, if he if, if Blackhawk You know Spike. All right, here. I'm going to teach you how to do this because obviously you don't get it. Well, my first one battle royal. Okay, go ahead. All right. It's not your first. Yes, Who do I want to show up? I want Animal to be in it. I think be that would be crazy. awesome. Yes. So yeah, I want Animal to be in it, but that would mean he'd have to unretire from wrestling. Yeah. Or even the Rogue would be a cool one, but I don't think he'll do it. Um, who do I think is going to do it? 
I think one of the guests will be razor sharp because he sent us the shirts, you know, and he's, he's got the thing where he shared it and said RWO, you know, um, so I believe, I believe he's one of the surprise entrants. Um, and who do I think is going to win? Spike. It's a weapons match. Now, if I had to do a black horse in the running, then the only other person I would think of would probably be J.L. Watson um, and, and, and Danny England if he if he. Oh, won. you Spike. did say it's a weapons match. Yes, it's oh, a weapons I match. I forgot about that. That's why I don't think that Blackhawk has a chance. Oh, can I switch my pick now? Yeah, go ahead. I think, I think J.L.'s going to win again. Okay, and who do you think who do you think's gonna be who do you think's the surprise? Obviously you want Ray Stewart. You think J.L. Watson's gonna win. Who do you think is gonna be the surprise uh, a surprise entrance? Surprise entrance. Can't steal mine. Well, I'll say purple hooter. Okay. And that's a good if purple one. hooter ever comes in, like that'll be insane. Like I'm not lying. That'd be okay. Wild. Alrighty, uh, one more time to promote this thing. That happens tonight. Doors open at 5 p.m., bell times at 6 p.m. Uh, Rubber City Wrestling presents a Grave Affair 5 featuring the, what is it, the third annual Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede Battle Royal. Um, to be the first time, it's not in a cage. Again, they didn't want it in a cage. They wanted it out of the cage, so it's out of the cage. They still get to bring them weapons, though. It's a bunkhouse stampede. Uh, also, RCW World Heavyweight Championship, that match is between myself, the challenger at the moment, but I will be the champion, versus the Spotlight Marcus Knight. Uh, Tag Team Championships on the line, World Television Championships on the line, and the All-American City Championships on the line. So you definitely want to be there. Get your tickets today. Because it's uh, get your tickets online now. You can find them. Go go ahead, hit me up online. I'll I'll send you the link if I don't have it shared already. But it, it should be shared on my page. So just go ahead and do that. If it's not shared on my page, I'm sure it's shared elsewhere with all the rest of the wrestlers. Anyway, that is tonight. We're gonna get out of here for Ricky Williams. I am your role model, Rick Leap, saying join us again next week for a very gloating edition of RCW Spotlight. Salute. Peace.